My next guest is a successful actor, director, writer, and producer. And he's a founding partner of the world's number one faith-based movie studio, Pure Flix. He starred in over 20 films. His latest, God's Not Dead, We the People, is going to be in theaters October the 4th through the 6th for a limited release. Would you please welcome David A.R. White. My guess is that a lot of this audience and a lot of our uh, people watching have seen the various uh, God's Not Dead series. Three of them so far. This is number four. Um, I think they've been brilliant, and they've told powerful stories that are very much like from the front page of the paper. So tell me what's going to happen in this one, without giving away the whole plot. <laughs> but why am I going to be interested in this one? Yeah, it, you know, it's interesting how... Um, our goal, obviously, with this when we started was to make these films that would open up conversations about God in different ways. And, and the first one was, you know, it took place in the college campus. The second yeah. one was a high school. The third one reached in the community. And um, if you ever saw that great movie, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, this yeah. is uh, kind of a, a tribute to Frank Capra. But um, it starts just with this family and their homeschooling. And all of a sudden, uh, the community... Um, uh, they come in and they start asking, what are you teaching exactly to our kids? And, um, and it basically ends up, they try to find the parents for, for trying to bring God into, the, in, into their you know, curriculum. They want to monitor that curriculum and ultimately take God out of that curriculum. That and sounds so, pretty current. It, uh, I know. I mean, that's <laughs> really happening. This is not a fiction thing. That is going on. Yeah. Let's take a look at a little clip from the movie. That way we'll give us picture of what it's all about. Here it is. There's been a development. We have a uh, new chairman, a Robert Benson. I'm guessing he's not as friendly as Abercrombie. Hardly. In the direction out there, the narrative is going to change considerably. They are going to insist that religious beliefs are anti-rational, anti-science, and anti-social. Show them that religious beliefs are supported through rational thought, with a basis on the U.S. law and tradition. I think I have a card for that. And also, I need you to make them understand that if they insist on trampling believers' rights, well, sir, they are in for a fight. Yeah, I want to see that. I really do. I, I think one of the things I've appreciated about what you've done with Pure Flix and the God's Not Dead series that the production value of the movies is quality. So it's not like, uh, you know, getting out a small video camera and shooting it at the church parking lot. I mean, you spend some real money on this stuff. Wasn't always the case, though. You know, we started early on, and, and, uh, and you do, I, I believe you're called to do what, what God puts on your heart and uh, to the best of your ability, and you start wherever you're at. When we f first did our first one, it was a, a very small movie, but it went out and, and went beyond, and we continued to make those. And, and yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, there really wasn't even a, a faith-based entertainment industry. You know, none of the studios had these labels yeah. um, early on. And it's exciting now because I think people are realizing that there is a hunger for, for the spiritual content. And, um, and if you can make films that uplift and inspire the human spirit that ultimately connects people to a higher level to who God is and the purpose that he has for their lives, then that's something that we're not getting in Hollywood normally. Well, I want to say how much we appreciate what you're doing, especially with Pure Flix, the broader brand, making wholesome films for families and uh, movies that people can watch without fearing they're going to be totally humiliated by the content of the movie. I'm looking forward to the fourth edition of God's Not Dead, and uh, it's called God's Not Dead, We the People. It is going to be in select theaters October the 4th through the 6th. You can get advanced tickets online at godsnotdead.com.